Supplements are the real deal. Supplements can be really important, particularly uh, for people who have difficulty getting a lot of some nutrients or their foods. Today, we're bringing you insights from Dr. William Lee, a globally recognized physician, scientist, and author dedicated to understanding the power of food and supplements in disease prevention. Dr. Lee is the founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation, and his research, published in over 100 scientific and medical journals, has revolutionized how we think about diet and health. Featured on TED Talks, CNN, and The Dr. Oz Show, his expertise is trusted by millions. Based on Dr. Lee's extensive research, here are the top supplements that can significantly enhance your health. Number one, omega-3 fatty acids. I think omega-3 fatty acids are a great supplement if you get a high quality omega-3. Not everybody eats oily fish, you know, day in, you know, two to three times a week. You know, you only need to eat um, the, um, the amount in each serving with the size of a deck of playing cards. So you don't need to eat very much. But, you know, that's not something people, most people do. People who live on the, on the coastline, they might be doing it. But many people don't. Um, so omega-3s are so important to our health. I mean, this has been shown time and time and again. Omega-3 fatty acids support heart health by reducing triglycerides and blood pressure, promote brain function throughout life stages, and possess anti-inflammatory properties that may lower the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and arthritis. Uh, for me, um, getting omega-3 supplements helps me top off uh, on, uh, on that and without having the mercury and heavy metals from seafood. They are commonly found in fatty fish, such as salmon and mackerel, as well as in plant sources like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. Um, but if you eat a if you eat a a, a fish uh, oil supplement, omega three supplement, you know you actually just get the whole, the whole deal shebang uh, that that you can to top off. Now, there was a study that was published last year that was a, a, a real eye opener, um, looking at um, levels of blood levels of omega threes. Because you can find the blood, you can find a fingerprint of how much omega-3 is in your blood in your red blood cell. Okay, your blood, red blood cell is what makes your blood red. And it was a study of like several thousand people, and they found that those people who had the highest levels of omega-3 fatty acids lived longer, about five years longer compared to people who had low levels of omega-3s. Now, in those cases, the, the, the omega-3s are mostly coming from eating fish. But here's the crazy thing. That improvement of five-year survival by just eating having omega-3 fatty acids, was cited in this study as equivalent to the benefit of a smoker quitting smoking. So if you're a heavy smoker and you quit smoking, you'll gain five years of life almost immediately if you quit. All right. And here's the thing where you can eat something and gain benefit in life as well. Supplements typically contain fish oil, krill oil, or algae oil. That's a supplement that's that's definitely worth taking. And, and, and it's a lot easier to swallow um, omega-3s than it is to actually to go to your fishmonger and then to look at what the catch of the day is. Number two, vitamin D. Well, another example of a supplement I think is really worth, worth taking um, is probably vitamin D3, yeah. okay? Vitamin D, uh, you know, for, for those of us who live in the Northern hemisphere where we don't have as much sun, uh, all the time, all year round, and where it's cold. So we're indoors a lot and not always outdoors under the sunshine. So I'm not talking Costa del Sol. I'm not talking about South Africa, you know, or Australia. I'm talking about, you know, England, Northern Europe, North America, you know, and sort of the Northeastern side. Okay. We don't get as much sunlight. And even if we do go outside, because it's cold, we wear a lot of clothes. And so our skin tends to be covered up. And so vitamin D is made by our skin when sunlight actually hits it. And so we don't, we tend to be vitamin D deficient. Uh, and we found by the way, during the pandemic that people who were, who got sick faster earlier on in the beginning of the pandemic, many of them were uh, short on their vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for calcium absorption, crucial for maintaining strong bones and preventing osteoporosis. It supports immune function, potentially reducing the risk of infections and autoimmune diseases, and plays a role in mood regulation, possibly lowering the risk of depression. It is primarily synthesized in the skin through exposure to sunlight, UVB rays, and can also be obtained from dietary sources such as fatty fish, egg yolks, and fortified foods like milk and cereal. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't know if this is a little, little tip, a tidbit for you. I just told you that human skin with ultraviolet radiation from the sun will make more vitamin D. But did you know that if you took just a plain old lowly white button mushroom, that contains some vitamin D, 
if you were to, um, before you eat it, when you buy it, if you slice it, like slice it pretty thinly and you lay the, the slices out and you put it in your windowsill so your sun, the sun shines on the slice, it will make more vitamin D. Wow. You want to you want to convert more vitamin D into the into the mushroom. So if you're going to prepare something with mushrooms, slice them ahead of time, stick them in front of a sunny window, no matter what time of the year it is. You know, um, maybe a couple hours before you um, cook with it, and the mushrooms will actually give you more vitamin D. But it's it's not it's a lot easier to get your regular dose of daily vitamin D um, by actually just having D3 supplement. Before we reveal Dr. William Lee's favorite supplement. Let's look at some notable mentions. So this is an interesting thing. We, most of us have heard that turmeric, which is a kind of a, a root, um, when you cut it open, it's this bright, beautiful, bright orange, a lovely color. And, and turmeric is also a dried spice used in Southeast Asian cuisine, uh, including Indian cuisine is where I first became acquainted with it. It um, uh, not only makes food beautiful it actually makes food delicious it's got a quite a, a lovely taste to it it's a it's a spice inside turmeric is curcumin curcumin is one of those natural chemicals kind of like lycopene it's one of those mother nature's treasure chests mother nature's pharmacy with an f not a ph turmeric specifically its active compound curcumin possesses potent anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation in conditions like arthritis it acts as a powerful antioxidant protecting cells from damage by free radicals, and supports joint health while potentially aiding in the prevention of chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer. And the, 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 the curcumin has a lot of properties, anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, it cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers. Um, it uh, uh, actually is helpful for your stem cells as well. It's, it really activates almost all of your body's health defenses and it's good for your gut microbiome. So why not just you know enjoy turmeric as a spice by itself, because it's so potent that our body actually doesn't absorb everything that it could. In fact, our body kind of, uh, it kind of gets, a lot of it gets flushed out, you know, uh, at the tail end. And so what we want to do to improve our body's extraction of the good, um, the good stuff, the, the turmeric, it turns out that if you have fresh cracked black pepper, all right, there's a substance in fresh cracked black pepper called piperine. Yeah. Piperine is one of mother nature's, um, uh, again, you know, these remarkable chemicals that actually uh, in, influences the body. And piperine helps the body hang on to the curcumin. So if you have fresh cracked black pepper with your turmeric, uh, you, you're actually creating a one-two punch that allows you to absorb more of the curcumin. Curcumin supplements are often formulated with black pepper extract, piperine, to enhance absorption. Another notable mention is magnesium. Magnesium is essential for over 300 biochemical reactions in the body, including energy production, muscle function, and nerve transmission. It helps regulate blood pressure and may reduce the frequency of migraines while influencing neurotransmitter levels to improve mood. Found abundantly in whole grains, nuts, seeds, leafy green vegetables, and legumes, Magnesium supplements are available in various forms, such as citrate and glycinate, tailored to address deficiencies or specific health needs. If you're finding this information valuable, don't miss out on more health tips and expert advice. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Join our community and take a proactive step towards better health. And now let's talk about Dr. William Lee's top supplement choice, probiotics. Probiotics are, I, I mean, I take probiotics. I, I, I believe in them. A uh, probiotic um, is really a mix, gen, tends to be a mix of bacteria that we're just adding to the, the good guys that are in our gut. Probiotics support gut health by maintaining a balance of beneficial bacteria in the digestive tract, improving digestion, and enhancing nutrient absorption. They also boost immune function by strengthening the gut's barrier against pathogens. You know, there's some probiotics that are not just good for your lower gut, the cecum I told you about, but even your mouth. So there's a bacteria called Lactobacillus ritteri. It's the same, same bacteria, by the way, in, in sourdough bread, used to make sourdough bread. Also found in Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, the original stuff they use in Italy. They use that to actually start the cheese. Turns out that that bacteria in your mouth, so I get a chewable, actually kills the bacteria in your oral mouth microbiome that causes cavities. 
And clinical trials have been done to show that you can actually lower the rate of cavities um, uh, and better gum health by having lecobacillus ruteri. So that's one of the probiotics, for example, that I take. Probiotics are available in supplement form containing specific strains like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. While supplements are incredibly beneficial, it's important to address the common concerns and misconceptions about using them. I want to support and underscore what you just said. You know, the, I, I, you know there's, there's always something valuable to look at the history of things. Supplementation um, did, wasn't developed to be an online internet scam. Okay. Supplementation was a really serious effort to improve global nutrition Yeah, because, you know, back in even the early 20th century, most of the world was undernourished. That's different than malnutrition. I mean, maybe there was some malnutrition too, but undernutrition and undernourished means that, you know, we were eating food, but we weren't eating enough of the right things at the right time. And so one of the things that supplements were developed for to do is to really fortify, supplement, top off, you know, um, uh, everyone so that everyone could have a more equal chance of being, uh, of filling up, being coming replete with the key micronutrients that we, our body needs to actually survive. And so I think it's a mistake to disparage supplements as a category. I mean, this is the theme of what we're talking about today. Yeah. Let's not, you know, let's not throw the baby out of the bathwater. Let's not character assassinate entire categories of things. Let's be, I mean, let's, let's be discerning and try to know exactly what we're talking about. There are some dietary supplements that are absolutely valuable. Some that uh, uh, that's research has actually shown, proven to be helpful. And some that are, can be life-saving uh, as well. Pregnant moms really need to be taking folate. You know, if you don't have those, um, you'll have neural tube defects in your babies. The, the, the risks go much higher. So you really want to be able to actually take yeah. the evidence. And so this is the other thing, I think, maybe a useful um, coat hook or hat hook to hang for your listeners is that Supplements are the real deal because they were once designed, originally designed to help the body top off with what it actually needs. But if the marketing, and we're back to marketing now, sounds too good to be true, if the claims sound like they're just magical claims, that's when your um, that's when your spidey sense, your radar needs to go on. That you know maybe maybe there's something not quite. Uh, fully honest about what is being told about this and it's being misrepresented. And so I think that every consumer needs to be able to, I mean, again, this is where I come back to, we all have mobile devices. We can easily search something. When in doubt, look it up, yeah. check it out, and then make your own decision if that, if that fits your, if it fits your comfort zone. It's important to remember that when used appropriately and under the guidance of a healthcare provider, supplements can be a safe and effective way to enhance your diet and address specific health needs. And uh, so, you know, those are uh, the supplements that I take. By incorporating these powerful supplements into your daily routine, you can take significant steps towards enhancing your overall health and well being. Supplements are just one piece of the puzzle. Pair them with nutrient rich foods for even greater benefits. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest health tips and advice. For more great insights, check out our video on top 10 delicious foods to naturally clean your arteries right here.